Tor chain, Rune, uh, what it is and what does it do? Why is it growing and why is it number 151 on market cap? Seems like it has a lot to do with DeFi. And we're going to be looking that up. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to smash that like button. Torchain is a decentralized liquidity protocol that allows users to easily exchange cryptocurrency assets across a range of network, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, without losing full custody of their assets in the process. So that's a pretty cool thing that a lot of people have been waiting for. But again, let's take a look at what exactly it is, what does it do, and what is so different about it in that sense. Uh, a lot of questions about that, so I will keep you guys updated. If you guys want on more content like this, be sure to smash that like button, guys. If you have not already, this is going to be some huge, massive news overall in the next few days for crypto. But Torchain users can swiftly swap one asset for another in permissionless setting without needing to rely on order books to source liquidity. Market prices are maintained through the ratio of assets in the pool. So see auto automated market maker. The platform is ruled. This is used as a base currency for and for governance and security. Uh, must commit 300 euro to be in conscious process. So to be a node, you have to buy 300k node, which is five dollars x 300k. That's a lot of money. That's 30 if you be buy. Yeah, basically a lot of money. So if you remove all this zero, that's five zeros. Yeah, like $40,000, no, even more. So I guess they might have changed that now because that might have cost a lot. Uh, it cost even more than that. So that being said, most of the people that have their nodes, like put it ahead at, at um, a different time, probably when it was just starting out. So 2023 was a strong year with major and growth users, new features, continues to scale and deliver industry's largest native. There's one thing I'm concerned about this one, uh, and that's something I'm concerned with also other projects. So this project is heavily focused on also being private, you know, not needing just instantly swapping with an automated market maker. You can automatically swap something without needing to have it in your own um, wallet or whatever. In future, only the first person to create and list a liquidity pool will do a liquidity pool. This is like a lot of DeFi stuff. You know, they're making very advanced DeFi stuff. I feel like a lot of people are not using DeFi right now. They don't know how to use Storechain. Uh, and instead, they use different factors. They use, for example, uh, a very simple thing, just like, well, one would be Binance. Maybe a lot of people don't use DeFi because they don't understand or don't want to make errors. So instead they buy it on Binance and it's just the same without all the, the major issues that they could make. Uh, it looks like the volume for Tor Chain is set to reach an all-time high this month. Now, this is the big thing. Room keeps dipping. I'll keep buying and on. So while the price goes up, the volume goes up also. Could be also because the whales are selling. So don't take this as a good side. Could be two sides of that. Could be different reasons. All in all, different reasons for these price growths um, are absolutely true. Like, we don't know what's going to happen in that sense. Uh, could be multiple scenarios of why it's going up, down, left, right. And to me, that makes sense. You know, like not all cryptos will see that big price explosion. That being said, though, let's take a look at what actually they are else posted. So this is mostly what Dune is. So you can do here fastest, optimal, or slower swap. So you can, if you do the fastest and also have slippage, how much you get potentially uh, for one Bitcoin. Again, I feel like a lot of people are going to be selling on exchanges instead because it's going to be much, much simpler for them. It won't make sense to, to buy it in that way. So that's one thing I'm kind of concerned about. But I could be wrong. I could be definitely wrong. And we were going to be seeing some massive updates in that way for, for this token. Uh, again, I don't think DeFi is going to be the future with all the regulation. They have crazy volume. They have probably the top affiliate wa wa wallet on a tour chain is making over 1 million a month in affiliate fees. That to me is absolutely insane, guys. Imagine making 1 million a month from fees alone. 
Uh, that means he's making about 20 million uh, from users willing to pay and provide a service they need. So that's another factor to me. Like it definitely makes sense that this is the future right now. How much money this is making. This was back in January. So this is still in January. Uh, integrate TC as simple as build a swap screen, query TC for memo address, send the L1 transaction track and display to user. So for users willing to pay by providing a service they need, this to be just like the team posted this. So MetaMask directly integrated and make eye-watering volume and fees. I don't know why MetaMask would do that because they already have their own swap. So someone posted that. So the issue with this is probably regulation. Cryptos are going to get regulated and DeFi and, you know, Tornado Cash might be the first to go. So I'm going to wait on this one, see how they get, re if they get any regulation at all, could be they get no regulation. So that would be great. Swap by breaking a large transaction into multiple sub swaps. So they have a lot of features for DeFi traders. Uh, I don't see this being used by the main audiences. I think the main issue is like most people, they're not going to be using this as a main thing, as a main crypto thing in that sense. Uh, why would they like, because they don't know what crypto is. They don't under seem to understand that yet. And that's where I see the problem for this token. But other than that, it doesn't seem that half bad. Like, I like the idea. I like the project overall. I just, like to me, making 1 million per month in fees. I wonder what that guy does does with his 1 million per month. He just keeps it in most a lot in his wallet. He's making like, wow. For three hours, he's making about $1,000 in transaction. And he set this up. Only 25 ETH, $25 in ETH, but 600K in other tokens. That's a crazy amount. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Be sure to smash that like button if you guys haven't already. Until next time, peace everyone.